Today I'm going to talk about using S3 as a file landing zone for data quality. What's so interesting about S3 is you can load so many different types of files and you can use it as a cloud landing zone for all of your data downstream. So you might land it here before you move it into a database or materialize it or provide more metadata, but we're seeing a huge uptick in people using S3 as a cheap way to store a lot of data in the cloud. So here I'm going to grab my user mock data set and I'm going to click upload in Amazon's S3 and watch it upload the file. Looks like it did. And I'm going to jump over to Owl's File Explorer view. And today, I'm not going to drill into a database connection or a JDBC connection, but instead, uh, I'm going to focus on expanding into an S3 bucket. Let me move this out of the way and drill into the file that we just loaded. So let's search for it, mock landing data, and create a data quality scan. So this would be something that we want to scan the file and see what Al can discover and all the rules and profiling and parameters it can put in place for us. What's really interesting is it shows us the preview. I can already tell it's comma delimited data and it starts to try to materialize it for us. So if I were to pop open the file, that makes sense. I see an ID, a first name, credit score, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and accept these defaults for today's quick demonstration and, uh, and move on. But we could talk about some more advanced settings later. So I could limit the columns, I could transform these columns, I could do a number of different things, but I'm going to go ahead and click run and start to build this model. What we could see right away, if we jump over to the profile view, is that OWL kicks off the job and it points and doesn't need to move the S3 file. That's what's so important is we can start to scan all the files, whether they're JSON, XML, any crazy delimited structure, and start to provide the same profiling and rule generation consistently and agnostically across it. You might want to use this before you move data into another storage because uh, if you didn't land the data correctly, you might be wasting a lot of time if you're trying to uh, move it into your database table or something next. Here I can see it discovered a column called age. This looks pretty good to me because I can see my top end values, my distribution. There happens to be some nulls, so it might be a completeness report. It's already starting to put some rules in place for this file. And if I look, people tend to range between the ages of 1 and 90. So I think that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and add an additional rule, which would be a valid range of values. So I'm going to accept the suggestion of between 1 and instead of 130, I'm going to modify it. I don't think too many people are over about 120. And if there are, I'd want to look into that. That could be an interesting data quality case for me. So now I've added another rule, which is called a valid values range. Um, I could see the credit score uh, looks like pretty good, somewhere between 200 and the, you know, the mid range between up to almost 800. And I might want to add an additional rule here as well. And I'm going to accept the 150 to 200 bottom. Um, and I'm going to modify just slightly the, the upper range that it suggested there. Now, granted, it's only profiled the file one time, so it's going to get smarter over time. What I also noticed that it figured out is that there are email addresses, so it tagged them, marked them as somewhat sensitive, materially non-public information, as well as put a rule in place around them already for me. It also found that this is a gender, and it uh, looks like pretty even distribution of male to females, but it will learn and study this distribution, and it will alert me when it does not meet this uh, past criteria and distribution. It also understands that M in this case might be rolling up into the male category. So I'm happy that it figured that out. These are things I'd have to go in and hand Taylor or know more about the data and calibrate if that wasn't the case. Uh, I see social security numbers are in this file and exposed. It marks it as PII and shows me some of the distributions that it's putting in place for that. So this was just a quick uh, short tutorial today on scanning S3 buckets and files using Al's data quality solution. Thanks.